Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my entire luxury SLG collection. Um, and SLG stands for Small Leather Goods. If you're new here, i love if you would subscribe to my channel. I post videos weekly about beauty and luxury and lifestyle. And it'd be wonderful to have your support. If you're returning, then welcome back to another video. So today I'll be going over my luxury SLG collection. Um, I don't have too many items in the collection because I do not like to have um, like duplicates or redundancy. I don't really like to switch out wallets, um, you know, cards between wallets and stuff like that. So I kind of like things to be where they are and not switching out too much. So all of my items are actually from Louis Vuitton. Uh, that's because Louis Vuitton is one of the first fashion brands that I started collecting when I did start uh, buying luxury goods a couple of years ago. And I also feel that for SLGs, Louis Vuitton has a good price point. Uh, if you look at some Chanel, like Chanel card holders or wallets, they can go up into, you know, over a thousand dollars for a wallet, which I feel is a bit too pricey for just something that you'll be putting inside your bag. Um, and then Hermes, of course, is also very expensive. <laughs> Their wallets can go up to several thousand dollars. Uh, there are a couple items I would like, um, perhaps from Hermes, which I'll mention at the end. But right, currently, right now, all my SLGs are from Louis Vuitton. As I said, I feel like the price point is good for a luxury brand. Um, and also the quality is good as well. Canvas is very sturdy and hardy. And it should be lasting you a long time, you know, with the proper care and stuff like that. So the very first SLG in my collection is uh, this mini pochette. I got this a couple years ago. Um, I use it right now mainly as a catch-all. So mine is in a monogram pattern. Uh, it is made in France. And you can see that it comes uh, with a zip pull at the top. Pretty good capacity inside. Um, I think, you know, back when people used the smaller phones, you can definitely use this as a mini purse, putting a phone, some cards, um, some cash inside and your keys and that would definitely all fit into this item it also comes with this chain that is uh, detachable so you could use it as a wristlet and i have um actually my very first video on my channel is introducing this mini pochette to get an idea of you know what fits inside and everything so if you're interested then check that out i'll put that in the information icon above so yes this is the mini pochette so let's just put it over here and then next, uh, the next one that I've actually bought is uh, the business card holder. So the business card holder, I was debating between this one and uh, another similar style flap card holder from Chanel. Um, the Chanel one is, I think, around two to three hundred dollars more than this piece, and it's also more bulky at the sides because this is a canvas piece uh, with leather lining inside. It's uh, pretty flat, whereas the Chanel one has a quilted leathering. So. I figured that if I want something more compact, then this would be a better option. So it may look pretty compact, but it actually holds quite a bit. This is what I use for my main card wallet. You can see here that there's two slip pockets. Uh, there's one slip pocket here, and there is a bigger compartment here that um, the main con with this compared to the Chanel is that the opening is quite small. It doesn't accordion out. So if you want to look for a particular card in here, you'll probably have to take all the cards out and you know flip through them so the way i try to overcome that is that i have designated cards at the back and at the front so if i know i need my driver's license then it's always at the back or if i need a particular you know credit card that's not as used then i know it's at the front so at least you have quick access to any of the cards uh, if you kind of remember where you put them uh, this piece i have here is made in spain um, i believe most of these uh, this is called a business card holder uh, most of these business card holders I've seen, especially in the monogram pattern, are made in Spain. So I'm, I think that probably most of the business card holders are made in Spain. But yes, I also highly recommend this piece. I was also debating between this one and a flat card holder, but I figured that flat card holder of the capacity is quite small, whereas this one you can probably fit up to like 15 credit cards into here. Or you can use it uh, for business cards as was the original purpose. So yes, this is the Louis Vuitton business card holder, and this is the second SLG that I bought uh, from Louis Vuitton. So up next, we have another pretty popular item, which is the key pouch. I bought it in the Demir Abin pattern. Um, you can see that it is a very simple pouch, 
I believe it's pretty hard to get now. <laughs> For some reason, like people really like this, uh, and I understand why it's very versatile. You can see it has a zip closure on the top with the LV detailing. You zip it open and you see that there's actually a keychain inside. So the original purpose of this pouch is to use it uh, for keys. Like you can un um, open this clasp and you can put keys inside. And then once you put the keys in the ring, you close it and you can put it inside the pouch or you can even leave it uh, dangling outside the pouch as well. You can use it like as a back charm or as a, something to clip onto your belt. So there's many uses for this. The way I actually use it now is as a cash and coin holder as as, um, as well as some loyalty cards as well. So I think this is pretty nice for that. Um, but you can use it for so many purposes. I think I'll probably make another video detailing some of the different ways that you can use this item. Um, yes, so this is my third piece, uh, my third SLG. And the last SLG I have is one that I've just recently acquired. And that is the six ring key holder. So I really like this piece. Um, before I had my keys just in a plain leather pouch, but I think this is very useful. So I kept my keys in there for now. You can see that um, I actually only use three of the key rings. Since I don't really need to drive for work or anything, I don't have, I don't need to bring my fob on a regular basis to access the parking garage. So I only have my car fob and just a couple of house keys. So even though I only have three keys, I think I would still prefer the six ring holder over the four ring holder because the six ring, they have this back pocket here where you can actually put a card. So say you didn't want to bring a bag, you want, you were making a quick run to the grocery store, you just need, you know, a credit card and your driver's license, then you can easily slip those two cards in the back here. And then this is all you would need to grab to make a grocery store run. Um, and then my piece here is um, made in France. Um, but yes, I really, I really like this piece. I only had it for a few months, but I think it's quite versatile. And it really rounds out my collection because right now you can see that I have something for a catch-all. So inside bigger bags, I can put my, you know, some cosmetics or a mirror inside here, hand sanitizer. Then I have this piece where I put my main credit cards. Um, it's like insurance cards and such. Then I have this piece where I put cash and coins and uh, rewards cards. And then this piece, which is uh, for the keys. So really like on an everyday basis, I don't really need to bring much more than that in terms of things like related to SLGs. So I feel like right now my collection is pretty um, completed. Although of course there's other items that I like, <laughs> for example, I do, I've always wanted to buy a flat card holder. Uh, I did used to use one, not from a luxury house, but I found flat card holders are quite easy to access cards. Like for example, this one, not as easy to access cards because you have to, you know, open the snap, you have to put this flap up and then you have to go and find your cards. Whereas with a flat card holder, the cards are just easily accessible to you. So I'll leave a few on the screen that I've been interested in. So one of them is a YSL card holder uh, that just about everybody has, I feel, <laughs> with a pebble leather and the two card slots on each side. Um, I like that one because it has more card slots. The regular LV1 only has one card slot on each side plus the middle compartment, which I feel capacity is not quite big enough. Um, another one I've been interested in is actually the um, uh, double card holder from Louis Vuitton. So, that one is actually from the men's line and it also has two car slots on either side plus a middle compartment and that one it has the same capacity as a YSL so I feel that one you can use um, is a little bit more versatile it can hold more but then again I also feel this can basically add as a flat card holder because you can just put your the few credit cards you want inside maybe you want five or six to bring with you then that this is pretty flat as well so then i also feel hmm, is it really necessary <laughs> to get a separate flat card holder uh, the other item i wanted to buy a couple from hermes that i was considering one is the bastia coin purse which i'll also put a picture of it on the screen now so the bastia coin purse basically it's as a, as a name <laughs> uh, as the name uh, sounds it's a coin purse and then i figured oh maybe 
I can use that especially for coins and cash instead of using this for coins and cash. Uh, the reason why I'm hesitant to use this for coins sometimes is because of this metal hook and then I worry that if the coins rub against this hook that it could um, like tarnish over time. So I have contemplated getting the Bastia coin purse. Uh, but then again, I feel that leads to some redundancy because the key pouch, as I said, could already, I already use this for cash and coins. So the, the way I get around the potential for coins rubbing against this hook is that when I put uh, stuff into the, into the coin pouch, for example, I have some rewards cards so that I make sure that the side I put the coins is the side that the hook is not on. So right now the hook is here. So say I want to put this uh, loony inside, then I'll put it on the other side so that the coin doesn't rub against the hook. So there's also work around for that as well. Um, and then one other piece from Hermes that I was interested in was the Calvi card holder. Uh, so the Calvi card holder and the Bastia coin purse are two, I guess, of the more reasonably priced items <laughs> from Hermes. They are both under, I think the Calvi card holder was around 400 something Canadian and the Bastia coin purse is around 300 or so Canadian depending on what uh, particular leather you have. So the Calvi card holder is somewhat similar to this business card holder except that it basically has two pockets on either side um, and then you can just fit cards on either side. I also show a picture of it here although I'm pretty sure lots of people know which one I'm talking about. But then the one about the Calvi is I felt that because it basically has an open pouch on both sides. If you were to try to find it from one side or the other, I feel like the cards kind of like slide around against each other. So that's also why I decided to go with um, the business card holder over the Calvi as well. And also the business card holder has these designated slots. So yes, so right now I'm still, you know, looking around, seeing if I really need anything else. But otherwise right now, you know, if I go out, I basically take the three of these and then this one, if the bag is big enough, I will take as a catch-all. All right, thanks very much for uh, listening to me and watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. And then if you're not subscribed, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye.